Look at those eyes, Chief. All right, guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, so we have an update today. Um, I just kind of wanted to take uh, today to talk about my yellow tangs. Um, so you all know I have five yellow tangs in a 150 ounce tank, and every single, each and every one of them are completely different. Their personality, like completely different fish. So I just want to let you guys know that in case you guys are trying to get a fish, you know, let's say you get a yellow tang and it dies, um, and you're like, oh, I don't want to get another yellow tang because uh, it died in my tank. You know, I probably shouldn't get another one. Well, every fish is completely different. Um, I have five yellow tanks in here. One is larger than the rest. He came out of the 20 gallon nano uh, I made a video of. Um, I got two from Petco. And then about four days later, I got two from Live Aquaria. So they were all kind of introduced um, at different times. There was a pecking order, first with the big one and the two little ones. And then the two newer ones with the other three. Um, so there's one that sticks out. Uh, more than the rest of them because he's like a different yellow. He's almost like an orangish yellow instead of like a whitish yellow and he completely segregates himself from the other yellow tanks. He, all the yellow tanks uh, hide out in this cave over here and the one I'm talking about hides out over here completely by himself. Um, he's aggressive toward the others. He stresses out more. He's very like freaked out, skittish. Um, just kind of a, a totally different personality. Um, I got the uh, the other one that came from Live Aquaria, and one of the ones that came from Petco are happy as can be, not aggressive at all. Um, they, uh, they're they growing like crazy fast compared to the other one I was just talking about, the darker yellow one. Uh, he hasn't grown much at all, and, and two of them are almost as big as the the bigger one that I originally added. Um, so you got the two that are happy, grow fast. You got one that's like finicky, scared, aggressive, uh, kind of a different yellow. Um, the big one. And the last one is, he, he kind of follows the big one. He's like, he's like the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, like the little kid of the pack. He just follows around the big one. He tries to size him up. He's just always curious, they're always together. Um, so, I mean, they're all entirely different. And and the one that follows the, the big yellow tang isn't a very strong eater at all. He uh, just is kind of the last one to come out to eat. Um, if I put seaweed in the tank, he's kind of the last one to come over and pick at it. So, with that said, they're all different. They're all completely different. Um, and I got that, that dark yellow one. He always kind of battles ick a little bit. Well, the rest of them are, I never see ick on them at all. Um, yes, I'm living with ick, uh, as everyone does. You just gotta feed them, blah, blah. Uh, I got a video of it, check it out. Um, so yeah, those are the five yellow tangs. So don't don't get discouraged if, uh, if you get a powder blue tang and you know, he's uh, freaking out in your tank and he dies, like they're, they're all different. They're all uh, a little different. Um, yeah, so with this pack of yellow tangs, I decided to go and get a more uh, aggressive tang to kind of like stir everything up because the yellow tangs are kind of aggressive amongst themselves. So I wanted to uh, add one large tang that would kind of be the king of the tank and stop the aggression between all those other yellow tangs. Um, so I went out and got a powder blue tang. He's currently being acclimated and looks uh, full grown and he's gorgeous. So he's been acclimating for a little over an hour. I'm about to add him in a second. And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I kind of put the uh, algae scraper in there so that they would all kind of hide and keep to themselves. I'm gonna turn the lights off, um, add them in and hopefully everything works out. I'll make an updated video after that. Uh, kind of see. I mean, I, I kind of expect some pecking order. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Until next time, thanks for watching. So I just added the powder blue. And, you know, 
as always, when you add a tang, you're kind of worried about uh, your other tangs in the tank. Uh, not in this tank. The yellow tangs are scared shitless. They're hiding <laughs> as much as they can. They're not even coming out. The the big the biggest yellow tang kind of try to follow him for a second, and then he like bitched out, and that's it. I mean, he's already the king. He's huge. He's huge. So. I mean, he was uh, acclimating for about an hour and a half. I put him right in the tank, and he just starts swimming around. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Bye-bye, sailing. No more.